Okay, so this is how the panel will look when it's running. It's giving you some basic information, engine temperature, voltage, engine speed. Um, it's also giving you the percent of the, the uh, fluid, the death fluid in the tank. So we're going to show you what starts to happen as the uh, diesel particulate filter begins to fill up. This would be representative right now of the engine um, with a completely clean filter. So we're going to slowly bring the depth level up. Um, so it's going to come up one level, you're not going to see anything on the panel. Let's bring it up to the next level. Again, filter is, is uh, starting to fill up, but there's not enough soot for it to ask for a regen. So let's go one more time. This is um, what we call soot level three. And you'll see there's a message, regen needed, high level, soot load 82%. And this is the point where this light comes on, and that is the diesel particulate filter. So this is telling the operator that the soot level is high enough that they're going to have to do an active regen. Now before this, this engine is, is constantly working to reduce its soot level. And you will from time to time see this light come on, usually for short bursts. Um, it, you know, it might come on for two or three minutes. And what that means is, is that the engine is doing a passive regen, or it's, it's doing it on its own. The thing to remember about that is that if this light is on, it's best for the operator not to shut the unit off. So if they get done with the shift and they walk over to the unit, the thing they should do is look for this light. If it's on, don't shut the engine off. Give it two, three, four minutes until that light goes off, and that'll ensure that the engine was able to do as good a passive regen as it could. So what should happen at this point, you'll see 82%, this light is on. In a perfect world, the operator should perform the regen. And to do that, the operator needs to push the menu button and push enter. And you'll get an emission parameters message. You need to go up arrow once, regen option auto. And that's what this will default to anytime the engine is turned off and turned back on, it will be on auto. What we want to do now is push enter, go up, this is inhibit regen. We do not want to do inhibit regen. We want to do request regen. Once we have that, we'll push enter again. You'll see the, the parentheses go away. And then we're going to push menu enter. That causes this light to come on. At this point, the operator needs to leave this engine alone. This is now in an active regen. The engine's doing what it needs to do in order to burn that soot. It's working on getting the engine temperature up and then using the death fluid. So the operator should leave this engine alone and let it run until that lamp comes off. There, you can see in this example, the, uh, the lights all went off because the, the soot went down to a level that is acceptable to the engine. So we're back. So let's say, again, we're using the engine, we're using a lot of on-off, and the soot level starts to come up again. So here again, we're back to this 80% regen needed high level. Let's say the operator was at the end of a shift, they had 30 minutes more to go, and they needed to keep running. They can do that. Um, if they do that, though, they need to monitor this panel, because if it goes up one more time, another level, you get this, which is soot load 90%. You now have a flashing light here and a solid check engine light. This is the point at which the operator needs to do an active regen. And again, to do an active regen, menu enter, push up once, select enter, change from auto to request regen. You can, you can go up or down with these arrows. They just cycle through. But what they want is request regen, push enter, parentheses go away, menu enter. And you'll see the light come on and again it's in an active regen. Don't touch the engine. Okay again, regen is done, lights are all off. Um, so let's take it up now. Let's take it up to we'll go to this level which is regen needed service level. This is bad. When you get to this point, this engine now is going to have to be serviced by the engine manufacturer. And you can see what we've got is a blinking light here and a solid red stop engine. At this point, the engine will have stopped. Now between, um, between go down one, please. 
So at this level is when the engine is going to start to derate. Um, once you get here, the engine is going to slowly start to derate itself. Um, but if you don't do the regen, if you don't request it, let's go up one more. That's when this happens, and this is bad. This is what you do not want to see happen. So let's take all the way. Let's take the the um, soot level all the way down to zero. Now there's one other light that you're going to see on here, and that is the um, the diesel exhaust fluid alert. So right now you can see that we're at 90 percent, 99 percent. With our simulator, we can simulate the death level slowly going down. There it goes. You see it's 50. It's going to go down, down. And once we reach 20%, below 20%, that is when this light comes on and that light is telling the operator that the death fluid level is low. So let's say they didn't address it, didn't put fluid in it. The fluid continues to go down. At below 10%, the light is now flashing. So that's the second level of warning for the operator that they need to fill the death. If it goes all the way down, You'll see it'll blank to nothing and the light will continue to flash. The engine isn't going to shut off if it gets to zero death. I think there's like a 30 minute window where an engine is allowed to run without death fluid. But this is not good. This is what we certainly don't want customers to have happen. We need to keep that death fluid.